Welcome to Learning with Mo. Well, in this video, I want to do something a little different. A lot of my, a lot of my students have been inquiring about another type of operating system. Well, I'm currently running Elementary OS. It's a distribution of Linux. And for this one, I want to do, just record a quick video on how to run virtual boxes or run operating systems virtually inside of elementary OS. Maybe you want to make the switch over from Windows or from Mac OS to something that's a little more private and um, in my opinion, more robust. And um, it's also open source. So this is elementary OS. And I'll just be discussing how we can run virtual machines inside of elementary OS. First thing we need is we need to install GNOME boxes. Now I've been using VirtualBox for years, but GNOME boxes, in my opinion, is a lot better experience. We also need a copy of the operating system that you want to run. In this case, I want to run Windows inside of elementary OS, because as you're transitioning, you may want to go ahead and still be connected to the Windows operating system as well. So I like to go to snapcraft.io. Now we do have a, you know, we do have a, an app store inside of Ubuntu or Linux. In this case, I'm using the elementary OS distribution, but um, a lot of times I don't really find what I'm looking for in here. Let's see if I can find GNOME boxes in the software center. And it actually is here. So it's actually showing me that it's installed as well. So that's perfectly fine. But either way, I like to run the command line. So if I just go to Snapcraft here, and I can type for what I'm looking for. So if I just type boxes in here and press enter, and if I scroll down, here's no boxes right here. I like to use Snapcraft because once I click on here and I click on the install button up here on the top right, it shows me the command that I can run from the actual terminal. So to do that, I just need to go ahead and click on my applications here. I'll search for the terminal. And right here is where I'll type that simple code. So sudo snap install gnome-boxes. And that's all I need to do. Once I press enter, it's gonna ask me to enter my password. I already have it installed. Just wanted to kind of show you how to go ahead and grab it there. Okay, so I already have that. I'll go ahead and close my browser here. I'm gonna fire up boxes. So I'll type for boxes here. And here it is. And let's see how quickly I can install uh, the Windows 10 operating system. So here is boxes. I'll go ahead and click on the plus sign here. Now what's really cool is I can actually go ahead and either install from a from an ISO file if it's a Windows distribution. If I want to check out another type of Linux distribution, they're all built in because remember they're free to download. So I can feel free, free to try out any of these. These will actually download it for me and I can run it. So there's tons of of distributions in here that I can run. Right? So here's a lot of them here. Here's Fedora. Here's Ubuntu. We have some Debian distributions as well, OpenSUSE. So a lot of them are in here that we can use. But that's not what I want. I want to go ahead and install from file. So I'll click here. I'll go to my Documents folder, uh, my Downloads folder, rather. And I'll click on the Windows ISO here. I do have a license for Windows, so I'll go ahead and press open. And let's see what happens here. So from here, just like with the virtual box, we kind of have to set some things up, such as the name of the actual virtual device. And I'll go for bio, I'll, I'll go for um, UEFI here. For the memory, I'll go ahead and I'll assign, I have 16 gigs of memory, I'll assign six gigs to this virtual box. Should run fine with six gigs. And as far as the storage limit, I'll say, 
only wanted to take up about, let's see if I can get away with 24 gigs. I'll go for 20 gigs actually. And I'll go ahead and click on create. Let's see if this will create it for me. And there you go. We can see it's already booting into the setup for Windows here. So I'll go ahead and just continue setting up this installation. And then I will be right back. For the first part here, it's just a matter of choosing, well, just accepting the license agreement. I'll skip the product key for now. I'll enter that later. I'll go for Windows 10 Pro. I'll go ahead and click Next. I'll accept the license agreement. And I'll go for Custom Install. So this way I can just completely overwrite the, um, the hard, hard drive space here. So I'll go ahead and set this up. I'll pause the video and I'll come right back. Okay, I've finished up the installation here. It's about to restart. And let's just see what it looks like here. So I'm still in boxes, so I can resize this window if I want to. I'll go ahead and maximize it here again. And here we go. So Windows is launching. So once it launches, it's just going to ask me to set things up. It's going to ask me to sign in or create a local user account. And that's pretty much it. So we can see that it, it is launching here. Once it launches, I'll go ahead and wrap up this video. And then I'll post another video to see how it actually works. So I'll go ahead and get things set up. I'll post another video and we'll use Windows inside of a Linux distribution. I'll install a few apps and just kind of see what the experience is like. But you're going to be quite pleased. It's going to run pretty, pretty smooth, um, much smoother than VirtualBox.